Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Salt and Light. My name's Kev and I'm building a 47 foot uh, Dudley Dix design uh, catamaran here in Japan. Now this is just a really quick update and we will be the last of the quick updates before we actually start to build the boat. Uh, today is the 11th of June. The ship was due to arrive on the 14th uh, of June. I uh, found out just today that it is delayed and will be arriving on the 18th, which means then the gear will be offloaded, uh, checked by customs, and that should take a couple of days and then it will be delivered to the boathouse. So we're looking at a delivery date of the 25th or 26th of June, which is exciting, it's good, I'm looking forward to it, I can't wait, um, but it is another couple of weeks away. So today I thought it would be a good opportunity to take you for a walk uh, through the boathouse to show you where I'm up to, uh, what I've been doing for the last couple of weeks, and just to let you know that we're ready. The boathouse is ready, everything's in place, uh, just waiting for the components to arrive now. So let's go, let's go and have a look at the boathouse. Uh, we've been given a nice piece of timber, which I've sanded down, and uh, we've had uh, the logo printed on it, and uh, so we've mounted that on the wall. Uh, we've got a sign on the front of the building Coming on inside, you can see we have uh, the mould uh, for the radius chines. It's all ready to go. The straps are on and attached, uh, just waiting for the plywood to come. I built a rack, which will be used to hold the rolls of fiberglass mat. And uh, it'll just make the whole process of being able to unroll and cut uh, the mat uh, a whole lot easier having the rack in place. The press you've seen before, uh, I've uh, put tables onto it uh, to make it easier to be able to slide uh, the plywood in and out of the press. Uh, we are looking at getting uh, some heaters uh, for it, especially for winter, to help with the resin curing process. So I've laid out on the floor where the plywood packs are going to go, uh, so when it all gets delivered, uh, the forklift can just drop them in their place and they'll be ready to go for the whole project. So one of the first things that I made were these tables. Uh, they're nice and sturdy, uh, so I can put heavy things on them and, and wheel them around if I need to. Uh, they've got good strong casters on them, and so they're going to be very handy uh, in the process of the building. I built a scaff tower with stairs so I can easily access uh, the platform and to be able to lay the uh, radius chines, fit the radius chines onto the top of the hull and any other high work uh, around the sides of the boat so we can do that safely. So here is where I'm going to put the IBC which has the uh, resin and the hardeners and this will become my mixing station and mixing area here. I've built a scarfing jig to be able to scarf all of the uh, western red cedar so to make the appropriate lengths. So it's just a, a simple jig using a circular saw uh, and it, it will cut uh, the scarf at the right angle. So that's it for uh, the boathouse tour. As I said, the delivery here should be take place on either 25th or 26th of June. So this is it. This will be the very last update uh, that I'll be doing the next time you see a video from me is when the gear arrives and we will uh, film that. You can be a part of that, that process as the gear is delivered and, uh, and then we can start building a boat and it should be a lot of fun. Hope you join us for the adventure. We'll see you the next time for delivery day. See you later.